Hi guys, Todd here with Power Driven Diesel. It's a very exciting day for me today because today we're putting the transmission in my truck Frankenstein. To get the most out of a high power truck like Frankenstein, I personally think a guy's got to have an automatic transmission. I know a lot of people love shifting gears and it is fun. But after about 500 horsepower, the difference between a manual transmission and an automatic is quite dramatic. So let's talk a little bit about the transmission we're putting into Frankenstein. We're starting with the stock 48RE transmission because they have upgraded stronger planetaries and they have a higher flowing pump. Let's get started on tearing down this stock tranny. Now that we're down to the bare case, this can go in the parts washer. This is a factory planetary set. This is great, it's six pinion, it's steel, it's heavy duty. The problem is the thrust washers. Factory setup uses a thrust washer that wears. We cut a Torrington bearing setup into these. We machine pockets, put bearings, and as you can see, rollerized is a lot lower friction and can handle a lot greater load than a thrust washer. No comparison. We also weld up the ring gears so that they're stronger and we rollerize every component in this whole assembly so everything is running on rollerized Torrington bearings. Another important upgrade for a thousand horsepower transmission build is the billet input shaft. This shaft is made out of 300M steel and uh, there's some design features they've made the cross-sectional area larger on this by making smaller feed holes so it's just a stronger shaft. We upgrade this third direct drum this particular setup is running six clutches. Stock is four, so it's quite a difference there. Another upgrade is a billet intermediate shaft. This is made out of better material, has better design, smaller holes, things to reinforce the strength. You can see this is the assembly we put together for the Frankenstein transmission. Also notice the welded ring gear on here. It really reinforces these gears to be welded. Okay, we've got the case all cleaned up and knee greased. Now let's get started on the assembly. This is a billet low reverse servo. This has come standard on a thousand horsepower transmission. It has extra seals, it's a lot stronger. It's not so prone to caulking in the bore. Another important upgrade is this billet accumulator. It's made out of aluminum, has four seals. Stock one is plastic, has two seals. Another important upgrade on a thousand horsepower transmission is the second gear band servo. This upgraded billet servo that we put in here has double sealing rings, so it gets a better seal. It has a, an extra seal in the cover, so it's less leaks. It's just a lot better servo. We decided to go with the billet 4.2 ratio lever in this transmission. These stock cast levers are prone to breakage. This one happens to be a 5.0 ratio, and they tend to cause bind up on large horsepower transmissions, so we prefer the 4.2 ratio. Now that we've got the main case mostly assembled, it's time to drop the overdrive housing on there so that we can finish the final assembly. Next is the billet intermediate shaft with all the planetary assemblies on there. Drops right down the hole. Next, the billet input shaft, forward clutch, and third direct clutch drum are all going in as one assembly. Here's the second gear band assembly. It's important to upgrade to a billet strut. The stock pieces bend and break, and you need these upgraded parts to hold the high line pressure on a thousand horsepower transmission. Next, we drop the pump down over the input shaft. One of the most important parts of a high horsepower transmission build is the valve body. It's the brain of the transmission. It commands how much line pressure it makes, controls all the shift points, controls the shift overlap, things like that. A bad valve body can destroy the best built transmission. One of the important parts of holding large power is increased line pressure. A stock transmission and valve body will make around 100 PSI of line pressure. This is the pressure that applies the clutches and the frictions and the bands. This power driven 1000 horsepower valve body makes 200 PSI of line pressure double stock. On a 1,000 horsepower build, we're going to use this large Dacron filter, which is an old style filter. These have more filter surface area and they flow more. 
A lot of people think, hey, that's the wrong filter, but this is exactly what we want for a performance build like Frankenstein. We're topping off this 1,000 horsepower build for Frankenstein with one of our cast deep aluminum pans. One of the great things about this is it, it acts like a girdle for the transmission and braces the case for the large torque. It also cools better with these cooling fins and it holds a little more capacity. Now the assembly is complete, now this is off to paint. One thing I cannot stress enough to people is to match your torque converter with your turbo system. This particular transmission has a quad disc V10 stall torque converter from DPC. This works really well with larger turbos on the street. It really helps get your turbo spooled faster. It makes a large turbo much more street friendly when you get the right converter. This transmission has a fat output shaft and that is too large to mate to an input of a transfer case from an automatic transmission. The input on the transfer case from the manual transmissions is larger. So what you have to do to run a fat output shaft is you have to install one of these input shafts from a manual transfer case. There's an input shaft. The problem happens is that they're too long. You put a stock one in and you won't be able to mate the transfer case to your transmission. So what we do is we machine this down and make it fit so now they work together great. One of the great things about automatic transmissions is the torque converter lockup. Because what happens is you can spool your turbo up and then you hit that lockup switch and all that power is instantly transferred to the tires. What that makes for is 30 to 40 mile an hour rolling burnouts. First time you do one of those, you'll be so glad you ditched the manual transmission. So today was a great day. The transmission is in and Frankenstein is one step closer to being out there tearing up the streets. Be sure to stick around because in the next episode of The Rise of Frankenstein, we're playing with turbos. Be sure to leave your comments below Subscribe, and we'll see you next episode.